since she was a child. Was she the same back then? Far from it. Reckless, impulsive, and above all, quite the temper. I don't know. I'd say she probably still has that one. Uh, just because she uh, does what she needs to to take care of that flare of anger does not mean it's not there. Yo, I was just telling this nerd here that the term microcycle was a setback for science. She probably heard you trying to push society back a thousand years with your sleep cycle nonsense. It's called sleepy by time. I'm gonna dig it up, my asshole. It when you arrived, it was immediately clear you had just stepped into the middle of a conversation with the rest of the apprentices. Oh no, all of them. <laughs> No! Oh, sorry folks, I don't think I'll be able to, to manage this many voices, so they'll probably end up sounding a lot, this, a lot of them sounding the same. Cast out. <laughs> it's okay. Let me just raise you a bit. Thank god you're here, because all the characters are on screen. <laughs> I mean, you were, you were voicing everybody, Coco. It was a, it was a one-woman show. <laughs> What a terrifying, what a terrifying thing for you. Very terrifying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there- oh, What was it? About 20 minutes when I got in, so... Yeah, to, to, to catch you up, um... Um, Jenna went to sleep, had a dream about frogs leaping on rainbow clouds. <laughs> well, that's a good dream instead of getting the, sh the uh, your fucking powers taken away in your sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait one sec. Um, let's see what else. Then we saw a small scene between um Zuna and the lady we just met uh or saw in which they were uh -huh. sort of talking about oh <laughs> um, another character that had written a letter to her wanting to interview her but she kept turning them down then we mm -hmm. were awoken oh uh, before we went to sleep we actually had a talk with us like she approached us directly and it was strange because like when she took our arm in hers it said that it seemed to alleviate the tiredness that oh. that uh, Juna felt and so they sort of talked a bit, and it came to light that she actually has a higher pos uh, position than even Zuna. Oh. So that's very surprising, and that she has watched over Zuna since she was a little child and was the person who trained her. Mm hmm So, you know, she, she said that if we ever wanted to talk to her, we could find her in the garden. Oh, uh, yeah, then we were oh. awakened by... Anise and Axne talking about what sleep cycles should be called. Uh, we followed. Why is that such a fucking big deal in this fucking <laughs> VN? I I wish I wish to to ask the VN maker sleep cycles. Why such a, a controversy? <laughs> and I just noticed the chat is very huge, so I'll be changing that for a bit. Um. So yeah, uh, we followed Clanice and kind of just asked her what she's up to, and she said she was going to work and got on us again about how we got on her about um, what she had done. Then we all went to yeah. the to the dining room, and I think you pretty much joined in around there. Yeah. So what will you say? Let me just quick fix this. Font size is too big. I don't know. I uh, I guess are you all I mean, right? I, uh, yeah. Yeah. We've sort of been flipping, flopping on what we've been doing. So I think this will push us more in the direction of trying to uh, fix things. Yeah. Oh, just asking for him. I am. The young lady didn't do anything. Fortunately. What will you do now? 
Well, I'd like to just take the whole day off and sweep this whole nasty business out of memory. But that's not how it works. Not for us. So, I'm going to take a moment to collect myself and finish my shift. Please. Worry not, Lady Jenna. Just a day in the life, you know. <laughs> Worrying, Worrying intensifies. intensifies. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I kind of want to do that. <laughs> okay. that. That's just funny. Oh, you are a burst of fresh air. I hope to see you soon, my lady. Until next we meet. <laughs> this world can really suck sometimes. It's a very intriguingly... Shady. Oh boy. <laughs> back, back at it again with getting murdered. Let's go. Let's uh, go. Let's save. <laughs> <laughs> you. That work? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, badge. Damn it. What do you want now? Hmm, you're Zala. You're able to communicate it with far more than I anticipated. Now. Just fuck off. Yeah, that's not for you to know. I like your braids. They look just better. <laughs> Perfect on a better person. <laughs> I mean, I, I, that sounds like what will get us killed. Frankly. Then let's go for it. <laughs> let's go yeah, for let's it. Get the braids. Bastard. Tell me what the hell is up with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Important cutscene will be here in a final version. For now, just know that it's vague speak on Max. It won't make sense to you. Your okay. eyes tore open. Intense. The fuck kind of dream was that? I didn't even get to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> it got redacted. Oh, probably see your nonsense. There Liz was, hey. calmly sitting a few feet away to your right. Hello. Uh, why are you in my room? You just had to ask, you know. <laughs> why am I in my room? You fell asleep standing up again. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's funny. I assume that's what happened when we first met. Oh, no. Well, uh, thank you for bringing me here. It's no trouble, my lady. So, tell me, what could you possibly be so forcefully dreaming about that it renders you unconscious while standing up? Never met a seer who did that before. I don't remember my dreams lately. I'd rather not talk about it. You know other seers. I think that's the most intriguing one is that Liz knows other seers when they made an emphasis that they end up working for the government and, you know, being taken away from the public. <gasps> I think that's the first time we've seen her smile. <gasps> oh, so pretty. Mm-hmm. I... I'm afraid I couldn't bring myself to tell you if I did. Hmm. That means she mm. either knew them in the past because they're no longer around, or it's hush hush, can't tell anyone. Honestly, yeah. I'm okay. I I can believe either very easily, or both. <laughs> yeah, it could be both. Like, uh, this game is so mysterious. It's fine. Finding the woman who's messing with my visions is my prime priority anyways. Hold on. How do you know a woman is responsible for your current situation? Because the last dream I had relating to my foresight was her telling me that I couldn't easily use it anymore. And if I find her, I'm going to absolutely find a way to reverse that damn spell. What use is suffering as a seer if you can't even see what happens? 
<sighs> Sorry, I guess I needed to vent and didn't know it. No, I get it. I hope you find this Mara. Put a quick end to her spell. We didn't. Wait. Did we tell her? We didn't we did tell. Not say no. Her name. Mm -mm. <laughs> Same. Jenna. <laughs> but how Jenna? long did you know I was a seer? Wait, I'm gonna look at the when we first met transcripts. Just in case I completely zoned out while... That might have been an idiosyncrasy, actually, of, of the writing process, too. Oh, yeah, this is like... No, they said a woman. Hmm. When we first met. Your mother dodged my question like a seasoned pro. And she didn't seem perturbed over your state, either. Standard signs of a mother who knows her daughter is a seer to me. Damn it. Alright. I'll see about fixing that when I see my mother again. If someone else had found out the way you did... I know. There's a lot for you to think about. And you look like you could use a bit more sleep. I'll give you some space. I appreciate it. Goodbye, Liz. So damn confusing. If Mara wants to make my life hell so badly, why did she only take my foresight? Why not my ability to see what's happening elsewhere in real time? How would I even go about dealing with Mara, anyways? It's on that high-level arcane shit that I know nothing about. But maybe someone or some place with knowledge on obscure magic could give me a lead. And if library there... trip. <laughs> yep. And if there was ever a time and place to learn how to fight back, it'd be here during my stay in Zanaska. Cycle of growth, day two, sleepy cycle one. Oh. Ooh, fancy music. Oh fuck. It's the boy. I'm sorry to interrupt, Lady Jenna. I was told you wanted any recent news articles on unknown magic. <laughs> oh, that's so rude. Hmm. Why is your hair still fucked up? <laughs> that makes me laugh. Uh, Valimar, you have perfect timing. Please leave it here on my desk. Uh, God, it's so tempting. Clicking it. So tempting. <laughs> With a patient expression, he walks over to your desk and places the news articles where you could easily reach them. Lady Zuna would be able to explain better than I could. Excuse me. He quickly nodded his head and dismissed himself from the office. Something about this song reminds me of Sailor Moon. <laughs> Now, let's see what kind of nonsense has been happening in Zal. Oh? oh? It's a working montage. <laughs> uh, I'm exactly, my brain forgot again. Hi, Fluffy? Yes, Fluffy. You've been in that office for a while now. One. Is there anything I can help with? Hmm. Give me a moment. I might be able to get back to you with a question. I understand. Until then. Noxia turned to leave. Actually, Noxia, what do you know about arcane ma magic? Hmm. Not much. 
There are so few families that pass down magic from ancient times. I was never a fan of the rituals involved. They always seemed arbitrary in their implementation. Definitely a field I'd rather wait for science to properly dissect. Is that what you've been researching? More or less. I'm looking for something. And with this stuff covering teleportation, gravity, the supernatural, and even reviving someone, I figured if the answer is anywhere, it's in the arcane. Wait. Revival? Yeah, but the cost of activating the spell and the whole position thing makes it useless to me. Do you... Wouldn't take, uh, it wouldn't hurt to take a look, I suppose. You handed Naxia the articles and paper you'd received on the topic. Thank you. I'll leave you to your research. May fortune be on your side. Now, if I can just find a spell that relates to inhibiting others... <laughs> We're just fucking grinding out. Whoops, <laughs> the fuck? Hello. Uh, okay. So, not only are you a doctor, but the women here actually treat you with due respect? Go for it. I've talked oh, to myself a lot. Oh, was I joy too? Okay. <clears throat> Why, yes, Miss Tane. That's incredibly progressive for a brothel. You're new. Are you a customer? <laughs> oh, no. I like those fangs. I like them a lot. Yeah, it's a little scary. <laughs> Concern. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just checking out the place, seeing what's, uh, what's what, and all that. Please, call me Tanay. So, Tanay, are you staying at this castle for a while, or...? Hmm, you couldn't do that. I prefer not to make camp in places held, by, <laughs> held up by evil practices. Hmm. Hey, I'm on your side when it comes to the wrongs of this world. It's so much more complicated than like this. Of course, you just like flirting with the doctors of their end. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm doing is so much more important than the bullshit you and your customers get up to. Uh huh. Please keep telling yourself that the next time you praise Dr. Joy. And you keep trying to convince yourself you're anything more than a cog keeping the cycle going steadfast. What's with studios? Oh. Oh, fooey. Yeah, I'm very sorry. I completely forgot that we turned it on due to due to everything that's been happening with all the hate raids. As you saw earlier, one of our followers was a hate raid bot, so we decided to take that precaution. Let me take it off. I'm so sorry about that. It's, it's, uh... But thank you so much for being here. What a time! Here. <laughs> you are free! Unchained! Free! <laughs> <sighs> right. I think you need to go. Tanae gave a flippant bow of compliance as she walked away. Oh, he does not look happy. <laughs> I can't blame him. No. <sighs> that only ranks as the tenth strangest thing I've witnessed this week.
Yes, my mother said she could not import laptops for us, but we will be able to get each get phones. Oh my god. She'll be helping with the installation process since this, the limited internet can be quite tricky. Oh my god, you guys don't have internet. I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. I don't remember if I read her or not. Did I? Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Trying my best to make sense of the second language you just spoke to me. <laughs> Bless. Oh, don't you fret. You'll understand sooner than you think. After all, most human knowledge will soon be at our fingertips. Or free? Careful, the internet is a wild, terrifying place. Oh, Dodge, I thought I was free from it. The internet is coming to Zanaska? Fuck yes. We, we, we know exactly what it is that we need to say. <laughs> I don't know, I'm inclined to both these. Uh, they're all so good. Yeah. <laughs> I do like to scare them. Hmm. Yes, terrifying place. Yes, from what little I've seen of it, Earthlings are interesting, to say the least. They are just giving away free dick pics, though. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just. It occurred to me that's probably something Clinice would be into. <laughs> um. Are you two ready to upload selfies for the world to see? <laughs> Plus with studios, you know what you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh god. Hmm. Well, it's time for me to seduce most of the human population all over again. Yes. <laughs> That's about as much confidence <laughs> as one would expect from you, Jenna. Hard not to be. Humans think we're all supermodels. It's weird, it's wild, but I'm not going to fight them over it. Truly. I mean, y'all are. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. Look in mirrors, please. <laughs> Maybe they don't have mirrors. Do they have mirrors here? <laughs> <sighs> How odd. I always thought such praise on beauty was reserved for people like Generals Zavula or Grey Yexa. Or that Grey Yexa. Sorry. I'm Wait just imagining Clinice unironically trying to charm Earthling men into sending nudes. <laughs> oh, don't I... worry, Clinice. Excuse me. The, the amount of men that would clamor into her DMs, you know? They, they just have to deal with the consequences, which is when she starts publishing them with like a <laughs> 1 to 10 rating. <laughs> oh my god! You know she would. Oh, I can totally see it. <laughs> Her her characteriz characterization is so I don't know I don't want to say I want to say that Clinice is my favorite but Clinice is fun to uh, do do some speculation about I think is what I'll say because Clinice is she's complex <laughs> yeah like <laughs> she's a problematic person. comparing her to the glimpse that we we got in the demo. Mm -hmm. It's you, you. You can see the roots. You can see the foundation, but there also seems to be a lot more going on. Because like when we first met Clinice, she seemed kind of ditzy, kind of bubbly. Like she was late, though she did have mm -hmm. a legitimate reason to be late, and she was mm -hmm. the only one who's not really dressed in a professional way. And she seems to yeah. be a lot more serious now, but still has a lot of those sort of same sentiments. Yeah. She has been refined. Well, to be fair to humans, all of them look hot too, so... Yeah. <sighs> the deities played a cruel joke on us when they made us inclined to the opposing species. <laughs> I totally love to hear y'all just talk about the things, all the things in Womazal at some point. Oh no, obviously. <laughs> like character spots, theories, and whatnot. Well, okay. 
Well, I was telling a, a friend today that one of the, the things that got my little lower brain really excited was the the theological talk in the library, the one in the one scene where they're like, uh, what what's up with the, the other canvas? And did they have a have a god? What's with how they don't even know that they like whether or not they had a creator or not? And it was like, ooh, spicy. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. I love that. I'm very I'm very excited to hear more lore. Oh hey, the boys are back in town. Let me get my fucking voice on. <laughs> Yo, Culliver wants uh, to make sure you're eating enough. He sent the cutest. He knows what he's doing. I am. Tell him not to worry. Fuck, he's cute when he's worried. Tell him I said thanks, and then I'm fine. So let Troublemaker to bother someone else. Mm. There's so much to be said here. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Emotionally, I cannot, I cannot say that the green turtleneck man is cute. <laughs> <laughs> I have forgotten his name yet again. That's my bad. I feel bad for him that I don't like him that much, but <laughs> it's not my type. So these three. Uh, I am. I, I. I am. Tell him not to worry. <laughs> Will do, my lady. And what can I do for you? Well, and forgive me if I seem out of line, but I overheard from Lady Zuna's office that some of the Zufos are that are scheduled to pay Zanaska a visit. Oh shit! Well, at least they're scheduled this time instead of a little kid breaking in. <laughs> <laughs> that was big cringe. Gremlin child. They will be over right away. Yeah, yeah Gremlin is child... too soft a title for <laughs> what that child the, was that trying to do. That child needs to be put on one of those like baby leashes. Yes. And, like, <laughs> somewhere else. Like, keep them in the, the playpen. I was put on a baby leash as a kid. <laughs> you were? Yep. Because <laughs> apparently, and I can totally believe this because I'm very absent minded, but like. I would be the type to just like stay somewhere staring at one thing for a long time while everyone else had moved on or just wander off on my own. So one day in like oh elementary school when we went to the zoo, I was the only kid put on a leash. Oh my fucking god, Coco, that's amazing. <laughs> Holy shit, that's adorable. <laughs> oh. Did I, I read think... that? I don't remember if I read it. Oh, I can't remember, sorry. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Not a problem, my lady. I shall leave you to your work. Or wait, uh, or oh. <laughs> Bear we. That is what I almost said. Good, good job, brain. Farewell, Lady Jenna. And tongue-tied today. You heard footsteps approach your door just as soon as Zobi had left. Boy, busy, busy fucking day. May I come in? Ah, there you are. Please do. Why is your hair fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to be able to ask Valimor that every time. <laughs> Here are the papers you requested regarding the research that went into Nozhuk, Lady Jenna. He'll fucking yeet us out the window and we'll fall to the abyss. That would be... Let Valimer kill us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let Valimer fucking kick us out a window, like, 300 style. Just, this is fucking... This is fucking Zal. Uh, Same place as always. Fuck, fuck hitting on Valimer. <laughs> yeah. He nodded and placed the papers on your desk. I mean, he, he's also a baby. Like, yeah. no fucking thank you. Lanise, I will pile drive your ass. <laughs> 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 for even trying to cabbage on this kid. 